In this video, we will tell you about what is China's dollar sign one trillion new Silk Road project. What are the key players involved in the new Silk Road project? What are the benefits of the new Silk Road project for China and other participating countries? What are the challenges faced by the new Silk Road project and how are they being addressed? What is China's dollar sign one trillion new Silk Road project? The One Belt, One Road Initiative, also known as the New Silk Road Project, is a massive infrastructure and investment program launched by the Chinese government in 2013. The initiative seeks to revive the ancient Silk Road trade route that connected China to the rest of the world by constructing a network of ports, highways, railways, and pipelines that span from Asia to Europe and Africa. The project involves building transportation and energy infrastructure across over 60 countries and is estimated to cost over $1 trillion. The goal of the initiative is to promote economic growth and development in participating countries, increase global trade and investment, and enhance cultural exchange between countries. China's new Silk Road project has been praised for its potential to boost economic growth, reduce poverty, and improve connectivity in participating countries. However, it has also faced criticism for its lack of transparency, environmental degradation, and concerns over debt sustainability. China has been financing the project through its policy banks, and development finance institutions, and has been using state-owned enterprises to construct and operate the infrastructure. The initiative has also been viewed as an attempt by China to extend its global influence, as well as an effort to reduce its reliance on the US-dominated financial system. China's dollar sign one trillion new Silk Road project is a massive investment, an infrastructure program aimed at reviving the ancient Silk Road trade route and promoting economic growth and development in participating countries. Despite its potential benefits, it has also faced criticism for its lack of transparency, environmental degradation, and concerns over debt sustainability. What are the key projects and initiatives of the New Silk Road Project? The Belt and Road Initiative, also known as the New Silk Road Project, is a global infrastructure development strategy adopted by the Chinese government with the aim of promoting economic cooperation and development across the world. The initiative covers more than 150 countries and international organizations and is expected to bring benefits to participating countries through increased trade and investment, improved infrastructure, and greater cultural exchange. Here are some of the key projects and initiatives under the new Silk Road project. The Belt and Road Forum, this is an international platform for governments, businesses, and organizations to discuss and promote cooperation on infrastructure development and investment opportunities along the Belt and Road. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, this is a flagship project of the Belt and Road Initiative that involves the construction of a network of highways, railways, and pipelines linking Gwadar Port in Pakistan to China's Xinjiang region. The project is expected to improve connectivity and boost economic development in Pakistan. The Bangladesh-China-India-Myanmar Economic Corridor, this project aims to enhance regional connectivity and economic cooperation between the four countries through the development of transportation infrastructure and investment in key economic zones. The Maritime Silk Road, this project aims to promote the development of ports and maritime transportation infrastructure along the 21st century Maritime Silk Road, which covers the sea routes connecting China to Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. The Silk Road Fund, this is a $40 billion investment fund established by the Chinese government to support infrastructure development projects along the Belt and Road. The fund is intended to provide financing for projects related to transportation, energy, and telecommunications. The Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. This is a multilateral development bank established to support infrastructure development in Asia. The AIIB is seen as an important part of the Belt and Road Initiative, as it provides financing for infrastructure projects that support regional connectivity and economic integration. The China Central and Eastern Europe Investment Cooperation Fund. This fund was established to support investment in infrastructure and other key industries in sea countries, with the aim of promoting economic development and closer economic ties between China and Europe. The China-Europe Freight Rail Services. This project aims to improve transportation links between China and Europe through the development of a network of high-speed rail and freight rail services. The project is expected to reduce transportation time and costs and promote greater economic cooperation between the two regions. These are just a few of the many projects and initiatives under the new Silk Road project. Overall, the initiative is aimed at promoting economic development and greater regional cooperation through improved infrastructure, increased trade and investment, and cultural exchange. Who are the key players involved in the new Silk Road project? The new Silk Road project, also known as the Belt and Road Initiative, is a massive infrastructure and investment project that spans across Asia, Europe, and Africa. The project is led by the Chinese government and is aimed at promoting trade, investment, and cultural exchange between participating countries. Key players involved in the new Silk Road project include 
China, the initiative is led by the Chinese government and is primarily funded by Chinese financial institutions and companies. Participating countries Over 100 countries have signed on to participate in the BRI, including countries in Asia, Europe, Africa, and Oceania. Each participating country is responsible for developing specific projects and infrastructure within its own borders. Chinese companies, major Chinese companies, such as state-owned enterprises, are playing a significant role in the construction and financing of BRI projects. International organizations International organizations such as the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund are providing support and guidance for the initiative. Financial institutions Major international financial institutions, such as the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and the New Development Bank, are providing financing for BRI projects. Multilateral development banks Multilateral development banks such as the Asian Development Bank, are also playing a key role in the financing of BRI projects. Private sector companies, both domestic and international, are participating in the BRI through investment, construction, and operation of projects. The new Silk Road project is a massive and complex undertaking that requires cooperation and collaboration between numerous countries and organizations. The key players involved in the initiative are working together to build new infrastructure, improve connectivity, and promote economic growth and development across the participating countries. What are the benefits of the New Silk Road project for China and other participating countries? The New Silk Road project, also known as the Belt and Road Initiative, is a massive infrastructure and trade project aimed at improving connectivity and collaboration between China and other countries along the ancient Silk Road. One of the key benefits of the new Silk Road project for China is increased access to new markets and resources. By connecting China with the countries along the Silk Road, the project is expected to create new trade and investment opportunities, thus boosting China's economic growth. Other participating countries also stand to gain from the new Silk Road project. The project will help to upgrade and modernize their infrastructure, thereby improving their competitiveness in the global market. Additionally, it will create new jobs, spur economic growth, and increased trade, investment, and cultural exchange between participating countries. The new Silk Road project is also expected to promote regional stability and cooperation. The enhanced connectivity and cooperation between countries along the Silk Road will create a more integrated and stable region, which is essential for sustainable economic growth and social progress. The new Silk Road project holds immense potential for China and the participating countries. It has the potential to create new trade and investment opportunities, modernize infrastructure, promote economic growth and stability, and foster greater cooperation and integration between countries along the ancient Silk Road. What are the challenges faced by the new Silk Road project and how are they being addressed? The new Silk Road project, also known as the Belt and Road Initiative, faces several challenges including funding, sustainability, and transparency issues. One of the biggest challenges is ensuring adequate financing for the vast infrastructure projects. To address this, the Chinese government is seeking to attract private investment and create international financial institutions. Sustainability is also a concern, as environmental impact and social responsibility must be considered. To address this, the initiative has established a green finance framework to promote environmentally friendly projects. Finally, there are concerns over transparency and corruption. The initiative has taken steps to increase transparency through strengthened anti-corruption measures and improved information sharing. These challenges are being actively addressed to ensure the success of the new Silk Road project.